Where are we? Why are we here? Why do we exist? What is God's purpose in creating us and calling us and forming us and fashioning us? And what does he have for us moving forward? Yeah. If yeah. all you're doing is moving the furniture around all the time and can't point back yeah. to a powerful reason through the heart of God because of the gospel of God in terms of what he's doing, yeah. man, um, be hard. The role of the Christian leader is not in the middle with all the happy, well-dispositioned sheep who love Jesus and eat good grass and are, and are longing to follow. The, the role of the Christian leader is on the fringes where the sheep bite, where they're trying to escape, where they're, and, and, and you gotta know that if you're gonna be in Christian leadership, that a part of what we've been called to is, is minister in the difficult places while we raise up from among the healthy other helpers, other under shepherds to serve uh, really serve the, the people of God and, and God's bride, his sheep. If what's celebrated is cultivated and, and the heroes really form the culture of a church, you could tell if who the heroes of a church are if, if, it's a, if the pastor becomes the logo of a church. Yeah. If the pastor becomes the hero of the church, then, and not Jesus, it's, it's, you could tell it's, it's, it's drifted. Becoming a Christian doesn't mean that I'm entitled to trinkets and treasures and a certain way of life. What, what becoming a Christian means is that I get him and he proves himself to be enough. You know, Jesus says, uh, you know the leadership of the scribes and the Pharisees and they lord it over you, uh, but not so with you in the kingdom. You know, the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which is lost. That there, there is a, it's a reverse kingdom. Mm -hmm. That the, the motivation is, I'm a servant because he first served me. Well, your gospel, I mean, your gospel church has at the center the, the death of Jesus Christ, the slaughter of the Son, who, if we, if we had the time in this little is betrayed by a loved one, his family thinks he's crazy, the ruling religious leaders thought he had a demon, his own disciples don't know what to make of him. In fact, even his, his ascension, it says, and they worshiped him there and some doubted. And, and so you, you've got Hebrews that tells us that we have this empathetic high priest who knows. You know, Wesley said that set a man on fire, people will come watch him burn. You know, there's still a, there's just a, a constant, a leader who's forming the gospel is, is, has never graduated from it, is still in awe that Jesus loves him. I have received grace yeah. and I'm, I, I, I can't get over it. Yeah. I, I'm overwhelmed by it, I'm motivated by it. It has absorbed into me and again, to use a sponge, when you squeeze me, this is what comes out. I think, man, I think if you boil it all the way down, I think it's glad submission. Mm -hmm. It's not just submission, it's glad submission. Because where, if I read a, a leadership book by, by someone who wasn't gospel motivated, that they might say, you need to do these things, but really you're doing these things to get to this. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm just trying to be in glad submission to my God.